mine. Uh, Please warm up because I'm freezing the tent so. <laughs> Shut up in your face. Oh, hello. Good morning. Um, it's actually good afternoon. Welcome to another vlog. Um, today, uh, Mel's in the back of the car. It's because we're waiting for her mum to come out because we're going to take her mum. My teeth look really white because I turned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're taking her mum to Middleton's because she's got to work lunch. Um, and then me and Mel going around, around the side here. And we've got... Um, Ignore it. And we've got loads of shit in the back. Just to a couple of parcels to take back. To return. So we need to go and do that first. Then we're taking our mum to Middleton's. And then me and Mel are going to go and walk around the city. We need to go to Quids to return the dress. We need to go somewhere else to do something else. I'm probably going to pop into tag because this fucking thing fell apart yesterday at work. Um, one of the link thingy me bobbies fell out. So I'm going to go back and just make sure they're all nice and tight and it doesn't happen again um <clears throat> and yeah that that will kind of be the vlog of course it will be across the weekend we're currently up in norwich which is where melissa is from um and obviously i live in essex so we'll be kind of filming across today and tomorrow we should probably do a video about how we met because that's one of our most asked questions yeah well on funny on that topic there is actually going to be a q a section in this video um a couple minutes in and we'll go over that question however church is on our way so we will uh, we'll get back to you <laughs> we're stuck in traffic it is saturday yeah. the 16th of Basically, we're trying to get into like the most used car park in Norwich, and according to the signs, there's only five spaces, but everywhere else is full. So, it's about. It's not the most popular. It's just one of the bigger ones. It's just two big ones, and you have to pay for all of our car parks. It's not like Lakeside. Great shit. Yeah. Even though Chapfield, which is now Chantry Place or whatever it's called, is part of the same company as Lakeside, yet you, you still have to pay. pay. What a bollocks! And it's not cheap. No, it's not. But, um, yeah, there's about fucking 100 cars trying to get into a car park that's got five spaces in it. So, this is good fun. Let me show you them. There you go, have a little look, bro. Okay, let's go God freaking damn. But, yeah, so very busy. Um, but we'll get in. We managed to drop Mel's mum off. That was the, kind of the main thing. But yeah, there's not really much to say at the minute because we're kind of just like rolling through the car park very, very slowly. So, in fact, we're not actually in the car park yet. We're about to be because it's under a tunnel it's there and we're not far under the tunnel yet. So, yes. But either way, we'll um. We should go to the cinema and watch that film. What one? Till. Till. Oh, yeah. Till actually looks like a really good film. If you haven't heard about it, it's about way back when in America um, I want to say it's still around like the years of like slavery and poverty um, no, my <laughs> bonjour um, and it's actually like a no, I believe it's based on a true story um, <clears throat> I can't remember the kid's full name, but the last name is Till, which is where the title of the film comes from. Um, but yeah, it's basically just about he went off to a different state in America and ended up getting killed. Um, I think it's about, um, like, is it about like the black culture as well? Yeah, it's like, basically, it's kind of about how, obviously in America, the black culture was very bad back in the day, still probably is. Um, and basically how this murder of this young child um, was one of the small stepping stones toward kind of trying to make things better in the States. Um, but yeah, really it looks really interesting. No, we're currently red um, because everyone's got their brake lights on. Uh, but yeah, it looks really good. So maybe we'll go and see that and we'll give you a little review on the old, old film. Um, but whilst we're doing that, I'm going to take you to future Matt and Mel when we're probably driving home tomorrow um, to do a little Q and A. So enjoy it, and I hope that just as entertaining as us. Bonjour, my people. The camera is back. 
we are back home at mine. Uh, oh. Sure. Oh dear, that's dark. Um, we're about to do a little Q and A sectiono. So I have lots of questions on my phone. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Lots of questionos on the old oh on the old phony only um, and we'll go through them and answer them. I don't know why Mel's not putting herself in the camera. <laughs> She's literally here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we will find a way of doing it even if Mel has to try and hold the phone with one hand and the camera with the other and read them out. We will get a way of doing it. But right now, we're going to go off to Tesco's, get some rich polium, and um, yeah, fucking hopefully warm up because I'm freezing my tits off. Um, <laughs> but yes, we'll speak to you soon. Hello. So, we were going to do the driving around, but um, that gets quite hard when it's dark and lighting is shit. So, we pulled over in a lovely car park that's really discreet unless you're from Essex and you know exactly where we are because it's the car park that everyone goes to to do whatever they fancy, really. Yes, it's Festival of Leisure. Anyway, um, <clears throat> as I said earlier, we have a couple questions that we're going to go through um, that I've selected. But, instead of just me answering them, I mean, interesting, we're both going to answer them. Um, Yay! Woohoo! Great. Um, but yeah, either way, we'll get through these, and then we'll, we'll go from there. We'll see what happens. So, Questiano Numero Uno is your favourite part of your body. Oh, it's very difficult being a woman. Yeah, so, no being though, it's going to be quite hard for her to answer. My favourite part of me. Bunda. No, that's everyone else's favourite part. <laughs> I, as of recent, because like, it's the main thing I've been focusing on in the gym for the last few years, because they used to be really shit, I'd actually say it's my shoulders. Mm. Because they used to be like, a bit round at the front and then flat at the back. But now I've got quite well rounded shoulders. I'm quite proud of that. So I'm going to go with my shoulders. Shoulders slash arms. Slams because I feel like I'm quite genetically gifted there, so I can't really go wrong. I want it to be my legs though, if I'm honest. But it's not. <clears throat> but there you go. Arms, slash shoulders. What are you? Can I pass? No. Ah, uh, probably my wrists, because they're probably the skinniest part of my body. <laughs> oh, <fuck's> hey. <laughs> oh dear. Moving on. Um, here's, here's a good one. And this will lead on to something else. How many X's do you have? Just the one. Me also. One. Um, and if you want to hear about the background story of how me and Mel met and things like that, let us know below or message me on Instagram or whatever and I'll see if we can make a video about it. Yeah. But one is the answer to the question. Ne next question. Tell me a random fact about you. Your facts can literally be anything because no one's going to know any facts about you. For you, technically, it's not even got to be random. Like, I used to be a gymnast once upon a time. I knew that was coming. Uh, a random fact about me. Um, okay, here's a really random fact. When I'm concentrating, I fold my toes over. <laughs> It's true. It's I do. not, I don't it's know not why. just folding. It's like the crossing yeah, and folding. Like, yeah. So I, <laughs> I tuck them up, but then like, so this is my big toe. I like cross it over my what I guess would be my basically index what toe. he does. So I say this is big toe, and that's the second toe. He crosses it over and then like pulls I it in. I it down. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. That's my random fact about me when I concentrate. I'm doing it now. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's just a thing. Unless I'm using my feet, my big toe crosses over, and I like. Act like I like scratching my toes. <laughs> Moving <Gone>. on. <laughs> uh, what's your favourite song? I don't have one. Anything by Pink. Yeah, I'm going to say favourite artist would be Pink. Yeah, I mean, my favourite song currently is this. <laughs> Nice. 
So that's my favourite song. Not that you would have heard that. Anyway, dogs or cats? Dogs for me, oh. straight up. Dogs for me. Um, I love dogs. Cat, I don't mind a cat, right? Cats are cute. Oh, come on. My, my cats cat is cute. have absolutely taken your heart. Her cats hate me, so I don't want no, to No, they about. don't. L L Lola does not come near me. But Lola doesn't go near anyone. And exactly. And no, Lilibet, she does. She does. Lilibet is cute. She's fine. She's cute. Um, we'll put pictures of them. So this is Lola. This is Lilibet. And this is Luna. It, Luna's my cat. Um... My cat's cute. Mm. She, well, she's, she's only just <laughs> become. Yeah, she's very fat. She's got a little pinhead. She's only just started to become like quite a loving cat. So, mm. previous to that, she would just fucking like bite your hand off if you were near her. Little prick. Um, but I still stick with the motto: the cats are ourselves. I love dogs. They're definitely planning to kill you in your sleep. <laughs> no, they're not. Hundred percent, they are. Anyway, dogs or cats? Um. I really don't know. I'm really quite 50-50, but I'm going to say cats. <laughs> oh, dear God. I'm not, I okay. don't know, though. I'm still dogs. Okay. Okay, here's a good one. The worst advice you've ever given? I've ever given someone. So, so, so who someone, yeah? Uh, probably many things. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. I don't know. It's probably something really stupid and really, like dumb thing to say but I don't know what I would generally say mine is like telling people to be patient and wait for things like wait for it and it'll, it'll come because genuinely if you think about it if you're just sitting there waiting for shit mm -hmm. to happen and waiting for the perfect day it's never going to fucking happen not really like the perfect day never comes to do anything so just fucking go and do it like if you're sitting there and you're like I'm going to go on a diet on Monday why wait why not just do it and then by Monday, you're already thinking, I've done this for the last two days, so I might as well just carry on. Um, I don't know. Don't know. Just get over it. <laughs> just get over it. Yeah. Her worst advice is just get over it. No, not in a mean way, but you know, like, you know when someone just keeps dwelling on what's already been done? And that can't be changed, you know, just like... So what, what's your worst advice? Your worst advice is... Just get over it. But sometimes you can't just get over it. <laughs> <laughs> 101 with Mel. If you can't get over it... Just get over just it. Just get over it. <laughs> Solid. Next question. Your worst habit. Do you not answer this one about each other? You've got a quote here. <laughs> Oh dear Jesus. Um your worst my habit, worst habit. That really grinds my gears, you know, it's good, it's good <laughs> is when we're out and something's taking a minute or two to you know, either we're gonna go and pay the bill and the <laughs> card machine is taking its merry old time and you'll stand there and start whistling. Hmm. Or you'll start singing along to whatever song's <laughs> on in the background, or humming the song really, really <laughs> loudly. <laughs> yeah, I can't help it. Uh, you, you know, you know when it's awkward, right? <laughs> right. <you>? So. <laughs> oh, so. So I did annoying. that. Right. So say you've just paid for something, yeah. The cashier's not speaking to you. You're not going to speak to them, right? So I just like break the awkward silence. Have a little whistle. You done. Uh, see you it's later. not breaking the silence though. It's just annoying. You do it everywhere. <laughs> yeah, like even like, what if you're walking around a shop and you'll start whistling to the song that's all in the background really loudly? Well, I've got music on. Your worst trait. The fact that you don't stop for five fucking minutes, like ever. Like, yeah. right, no, this is no cap, yeah, so it'll be a weekend, and then you complain about it, but right, it'll be a weekend, right, we'll be sitting there, and we'll be like, oh, we'll go and get some breakfast, we'll go and get the breakfast, right, we'll come back up to the room, I want to sit down for a few minutes and just chill out, but Mel's like, oh, I want to try the room, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do this, and then we'll just start doing stuff. It really annoys me that that's not straight. And then complains <laughs> that she never has any time to sit down. You want to just sit. Yeah, but I can't sit Stop. down knowing that I've got things... Motherfucker. ...to do. Mother... Mother F. There we go. I can't sit down knowing that I've got things to do. Yeah, but you can't then complain that you've got 
you've not sat down if you're choosing to not sit down and just carry on doing things. Uh, Let me get on it. Anyway, next one. Uh, how tall are you? I'm five foot one. Mel's five foot one, and I'm five ten and a half. Five eleven. Basically six foot. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm six foot. Mel's five one. I thought you were going to say like four eleven or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your favourite thing to do? I really like doing my nails. Yeah, she does. She does do that. She'll spend hours doing it as well. Like she's got all the, all the equipment, and she'll you know, like you could sit her in a corner for like three hours, and she'll sit there and she'll do her nails, and she'll love it. And then they're always really cool as well. I add. They're all always pretty sick. Uh, my favourite thing to do is pretty obvious. Go to gym. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Like go and do bodybuilding. I love it. Uh, I mean, it's very very quickly though being caught up by go karting. In Feb, mm. well, I mean, so later on in this month, 21st, we're going for like a little funny go karting race. Um, and Actually, indoor I'm not going to take that, that's going to be very serious. And um, Mel's going to try her very hardest. Um, however, on I want to say the 26th of Feb, uh, myself and a few of my mates have gone up to Lid, which is a racetrack in Kent, um, and hopefully, Melissa will be free to come up and film some of it for us so that I can post a video of us karting and whatever and that'll be like the vlog for the day um, <clears throat> but a few of me and my mates we've bought all of the gear so we've all got helmets, suits, gloves, oh. boots, we've got everything um, and yeah we're just really getting into that so top of the leaderboard is bodybuilding mm. but in a very close second is currently karting um, they're my two favourite things to do so, let's see if there's any more on here that I didn't screenshot just, no? Nope. That wasn't many questions. That wasn't many at all, was it? That flew by. But there you go. There's our rapid fire Q and A for today. Mm. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I mean, obviously there weren't loads and loads of questions. Didn't really expect that to be, if I'm honest. Um, but if you ever do have any questions, do just ask them. I'm not gonna fucking ignore you, mate. So just ask. I'm happy to answer. What I will say. Um, is there's going to be two videos this week so it's going to be this one and I have been asked by quite a few of you if I could post my full leg day routine um, as people aren't too sure what to do on leg days what kind of different things to put in there and basically have asked if I can demonstrate um, what I do on my leg days. So, even though there was a snippet of it last time, I will film it again, hopefully this weekend, and it will go up on the same day. Um, but it will be a bit more in-depth about what I do and why I do it. Be in bags. <laughs> so, yes, I will be doing that towards the end of the week, uh, and I'll get it posted again this week at the same time as this one. Um... So yeah, if you have any more questions of other workouts or different things to do, ask. And, oh, please do ask and I'll be more than happy to post those videos. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you when we get back home. And we'll probably be watching a film. Um, Made in Manhattan. Yes. Never seen it. So there probably won't be too much of a vlog left after this, but... We'll make it as entertaining as we can. Okay, so we're now home. Um, and we're watching Made in Manhattan. Um, as in like, made as in like, a, a maid at a hotel. Not made as in M-A-D-E. Anyway. Um, that's amazing lighting. We're now just going to chill out. Watch this film. There's Ozzy and Rose up there. Um, and yeah, that will be today's or this weekend's vlog. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, the the Q&A bit was quite fun to do. Um, so there's a chance in the future we will do more of those. Um, but yeah, this video should hopefully be out Tuesday. No. Probably out Wednesday. This will be out Wednesday, and then there'll be a leg day that gets filmed on Friday, and will be out on Saturday. Um, but 
either way i hope you've enjoyed um and yeah bedtime it is bedtime so we'll see you soon on leg day <laughs> this is bruh